Inside the skull of a dead eel may seem like a strange place to look for an answer. But Dr. Don Jellyman is the world authority in these animals, and he knows exactly what he's after. So this is the, um, the brain, the spinal cord, and this little otolus sits in a small sac just on the back here, and it's part of the um, balancing system. So that's what we're after, Jeremy, that little bone there holds the key to a lot of the life history of the eel, you know, its age, its growth rate. Once magnified, this tiny ear bone reveals the growth history of the fish. So, so is that the same sort of principle as counting the rings on a tree, something like that? It is. Yeah. You know, it's exactly the same. A two to three foot eel can be 30 years old. But amazingly, this is just a youngster. What's the oldest they might be, do you think? Any, any conjectures? Well, the oldest that I've aged is, is 105 years old. And from that lake, the average age at which the females migrated was 93 years. It's extraordinary, isn't it? One thing I've been thinking about is this mention in Captain Cook's journals about he was told about something that was snake-like and eight feet long. Would one of these be capable of growing to eight feet, do you think, in ideal conditions? Yes, it's quite, quite likely in the wild that they would have grown to a very, very large size like that. Wow, so I wouldn't so, dismiss that. So that could be a reliable report. Uh, and, and at that length, how much is that going to weigh, roughly? Yeah, well over 100 pounds at that stage. Right. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Yes, that's, so, a, that's a big fish. Yeah. It's a seriously big okay. fish. So that Captain Cook report, it could have been one of these. It could well have been. It might be of interest just to have a look inside it. Um, so we'll just do a run up through here. So, oh, there is something in here. That's the stomach, this, is it? That's yeah. the stomach that's there. That's quite full, isn't it? Let's take a peek. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm rather interested to know what this has got in it. With toxic blood oozing out of the eel's body, I'm careful to wash my hands. Um, so, aha. Uh -huh. Is that another eel? It's another eel, yes. Ooh. It's, it's well digested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so they can be quite cannibalistic. They're just well adapted to taking those opportunities as they rise. If there's tucker there, they're into it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.